We're live for 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an stspod.club production. Tomorrow, 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 that's right, 12 noon, FedEx Forum with the Memphis Tigers and Memphis Wrestling. Get out there and join everyone with that, guys. Just want to say that before we got started. This is episode 105, episode 686 of stspod.club. And speaking of, we have a Patreon, we're on TikTok, uh, we're on Facebook Reels, we're on Instagram, we're everywhere, guys, everywhere. Go to stspod.club, go to the link of all links, even buy some merch. We have a WTF shirt, brand new. We have a Rolling Into Mempo shirt. Finally, we put that up, brand new. Guys, we have merch, that's right. Every week. Have you joined us every week? This is week 105. Come on. So y'all had to join us sometimes. But remember, we do hits, misses, MVP, what's happening, and must see. Now let's get on with the show. All right. Let's talk about the hits. Hits for week 105. Another good show, another good show. Week 105, and we're celebrating two years of Memphis wrestling. I can't believe it's been that long. Awesome, awesome to be part of the show or be part of the review show. How's that? Uh, number one hit, Maria returns. Yay, Maria's back. Uh, excited to see her. She is totally different in commentating uh, than Terrence Ward, and that is a good thing. I do like them mixing it up and bringing her back uh and we get her for you know three to six weeks and then all of a sudden terrence comes back or or also anyone else that can jump in there and do something but i do like it when maria returns um then we had pretty much what i like to call a squash match ray collins is getting beat over and over and over uh which you know could lead to something you can always take a person like that and and get them over and get them over as a baby face or if he turns or gets him over with just one win uh but he wasn't gonna get that one win this week against brett michaels who looked awesome uh just very good short match exactly what it should have been when we're putting over the champ the way we are a uh, brett michaels a heritage champion out with the belt talking about uh, k tumor and they're going to be going against each other in two weeks now, this has been a very strong build for tumor that took a long time in in the making uh kind of started with some matches with austin lane and, and just tumor being dominant against everyone i mean he went through uh what we want to call stars of professional wrestling just one by one by one leading up to him finally getting his shot uh when he when he won the grind city rumble and he's getting it against uh brett michaels who, who chased the belt for a long time and finally got it back and is it i mentioned this maybe last week or the week before but is it time already is it time already for michaels to lose is it time already for tumor to win the belt uh should be interesting and later on in the program aaron roberts set a few things and we'll talk about that so should be interesting to see what direction we go after the title match with the champion uh we also got which we'll talk about it right now big big thumbs up a hit with the cobra cup finals uh i'll talk about a miss on it here in in just a moment but big hit we got big trouble ben bishop here's a guy who has been with memphis wrestling for a while it's kind of been in the what i call background stories uh but this guy's gonna be getting ready for a big push gonna be center of attention for a while with all year long let me tell you he's got the cobra cup now he beat reverend ash uh and then so what is he going to do now what title is he going to go for everyone knows it's going to be the heritage belt but when and where is he going to do it going to say i want a title shot and just give the cup over or he's going to do the old thing where you know the champion's down and he slides in with the cup and gets the title shot we'll have to see Big trouble is big trouble for anyone. A big, huge guy. It would be interested to see how they play this out. All right. Up next, my next hit was number one contenders match. DDT against Mackenzie Morgan. A big hit 
for the agent of this one. I know we talk about this sometimes on the show, but but sometimes it's not the people in the match that makes the match. It's the people that help put the match together. Good heat, great hope spots. I really, really like this match. Um uh, a lot more than I thought I would, to be honest with you. Beautiful drop kick from Kenzie Morgan. Mackenzie Morgan does some things that that some veterans don't do. Uh, and, and if you've been in a business or been around the business as long as I have, you see rookies with so many mistakes. Uh, and then you see rookies that don't understand the psychology. You see rookies that don't do the little things. Okay. So Mackenzie Morgan is getting the mechanics down, but she's also doing the little things. She is going to be a huge star in this business. Huge star Mackenzie Morgan there. A uh, good win, too, in, in a solid match with DDT. My final note on the DDT um, McKenzie Morgan match is make sure you take a look at her winning the match, the reaction she has from winning the match. I call this Lex Luger winning the title reaction. If anyone wants to make a study or do a study of someone winning a match and the reactions that they that they uh, have, you can go to Lex Luger and take a look at all the stuff when he wins a belt, the way he reacts. She was jumping up and down, making this out to be a big deal. She's the number one contender, and it is a big deal, and it felt like a big deal. Again, Mackenzie Morgan, a big thumbs up for everything in this match and her reactions. All right, we got, uh, then we had a video with Ellsworth Enterprises. I guess that's what we're going to call them. Uh, really positive thing with James Ellsworth coming in was Matt Williams and Gaston having some, uh, some uh, I guess, screen time is what you would say. These two guys are fun together. Uh, Matt Williams is always so good on the microphone. I don't know about his choice for that shirt he was wearing, but Matt is fantastic. I've said this before. When he decides to retire and get out of the business and stay in the business, let's put him on commentary all the time. Uh, Matt Williams and Gaston, and we may get someone else coming in there to be part of this Ellsworth Enterprises, and you can always call them Ellsworth uh, Enterprises and have them continue to do things and then bring James back in. Uh, it's just all, there's all kinds of things you can do with these two guys. And Matt Williams, very, very talented on the microphone. We had a vignette or just a quick, I guess a video with Mikey of uh, the backdrop was a trailer park saying he was bringing in, he was bringing in family. So it, it should be really fun to see what happens, what happens with, uh, Mikey bringing in family and, uh, Brad brings in family. This skim of horns family. We'll have to do a family tree before this is all over. Aaron Roberts, my final hit, Aaron Roberts. And with Justin Case, he got in a ring with his old partner, Zay Washington. Loved this match. Loved it. But I love what they did around the match. So Justin Case gets handcuffed to Big Dan, right? All right, he gets handcuffed to keep him from interfering. What happens? Well, we had uh, Big Dan get kicked in the face by Aaron Roberts. We put Big Dan on the ropes. He was handcuffed. We had Justice Case running around by himself. I was like, man, that is a good, uh, just a, a change of rules when it comes to the, what they do with this one. And then all of a sudden, we had Justice Case back against the ropes, uh, handcuffed to the ropes, and Big Dan out of it. Uh, loved it. He defeated him, though. Get this. Watch the finish. Right in the middle of the ring. Dustin Starr, why were you so upset? He defeated him right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. Good stuff. And I said that was my final hit, but this is my final hit. The ending of the show was really good as Aaron challenges the winner of Toomer and Michaels. Just in case, again, so good on the microphone. Uh, pretty much telling Dustin to come on. He can be next if he wants to be. It'll be interesting to see where this push of Aaron Roberts goes. We're going to see the problem child as a future champion. Uh, we first got to see what's going to happen. 
with Toomer and Michaels. All right, guys, that was week 105, and that's my hits. All right, we're up to Mrs. Mrs. for episode 105. Uh, not a big fan. Uh, we didn't get Brother Red. He was supposed to be in the Cobra Cup. The Reverend came and took his place. Not a fan of that. We even had earlier with Van Vicious taking Vane's place. And uh, we did have the Cobra Cup winner is uh, Big being there. Big trouble being Bishop there, but uh, don't like it when someone replaces someone else, especially in a tournament. Uh, we also had Mrs. I'm not also not a fan of the black and white highlights. Not sure why we're putting them in black and white. Just not a fan. I mean, uh, it makes me feel like uh, something went wrong with my TV or I'm watching uh, 1950s television. Not a fan of that. Uh, and even though I really liked the match and I like it that Mackenzie Morgan won, I would have had her win right in the middle with a finisher of some sort trying to get over the finisher. Uh, that's the kind of stuff I would have done booking-wise. Uh Instead of having the, you know, Jimmy Blaylock thing mess up, which may be leading to something else. So what do I know? All right. That was week 105, and that was Mrs. All right, MVP for week 105. I'm going to do co-MVPs, okay? Here we go. Co-MVPs. Mackenzie Morgan having a fantastic match there. Looked fantastic. Crowd went nuts. Uh, also with her being the number one contender, that's going to be fun. And Aaron Roberts, co-MVPs, Aaron Roberts getting a big win over Zay Washington in the main event. Aaron is, uh, getting ready for a huge push. It just feels like, uh, him making that challenge, uh, to Brett Michaels and Toomer. It feels like we're getting ready for a big push and a big win over Zay Washington. Co-MVPs for week 105. Aaron Roberts and Mackenzie Morgan. What's happening? What's happening in two weeks? Let me tell you what's happening. Gun show, tumor. They went face to face uh, right there today. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And Uncle Mikey, next week, he's bringing family. That's right. We're going to have a real family feud as Uncle Mikey brings another uncle or cousin, and we get Uncle Phil in. Uh, main event bradley's corner apparently this will be fun that right there guys that is what's happening what's happening for week 105 all right we're up to must see must see i'm going with the main event a lot of twists and turns uh in the main event i want you to go out of your way to watch it hopefully they'll put a hunt uncut version up on the uh, youtube there aaron roberts against zay washington formerly the young Goats, the young goats. Oh, I hate it. I hate it that they are not a team anymore. But this has, it, it's pushed the wrong person. Not really the wrong person, but I always push for Zay to come. Aaron Roberts has come right in the front of everything and showing everybody that he may be the next one to win the Heritage Belt. A must see, must see the main event with Aaron Roberts against Zay Washington. Oh, y'all know what I'm fixing to say. What am I fixing to say? This is episode 105, episode 686. Remember, we'll be right here. Same bad time, same bad channel. On the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there. And as everyone knows, I love my mama.